A pilot who survived a light plane crash in Sydney is a newly married man who is expecting a child. The aircraft got into trouble moments after taking off from Bankstown Airport just before 11. 30 a.m. and tried to land on the nearby Bankstown Trotting Recreational Club. It is understood the plane was airborne for about four minutes when it lost power, before landing and skidding for several meters, losing part of its wing and slamming into a parked Mazda. Read more. Melissa Caddick's husband makes claim for watches, jewelry, paintings. CCTV footage from the scene shows the out-of-control light plane careering towards the car park before crashing into the vehicle. Five people were evacuated from the car park as firefighters sealed off the area and contained a minor fuel leak. Bankstown Paceway Operations Manager Steve Thurlow said the pilot told him he had a child on the way. I felt sorry for him, Thurlow told 9 News, he said I just got married and I've got a kid on the way and all. He said I thought to myself this is it Sharon from Club Condo Park said a regular customer came in and alerted staff to the crash. I said oh my god, where? And she said right next to the club, Sharon told 9 News. Read more. Body found in search for missing man in flood hit NSW town. The 28 year old pilot was treated for shock, but he was otherwise uninjured. He saw me and he just fell to his knees, Sharon said. The first thing he said was, Can I give you a hug? But he was just trembling like you wouldn't believe. I just said, You're going to see your baby, it's only metal, you're okay, and you're going to see your baby. It sort of hit me because I realize how close he came to not being here but thankfully, thank God, the outcome is what it is. The plane's owner Sydney Aviators declined to comment on the crash. The owner of the Mazda was line dancing in the club at the time of the incident. The plane has been towed and police have handed the scene over to the Australian Transport Safety Bureau. The Bureau will gather additional information to determine whether it will launch a full-scale investigation.